What's up everybody, Disco Demonic Hydroponic. Today I'm gonna to make a video. I did a quick write with Typhon earlier and um, I wanted to make a video on how you can do the write as well. I'm just gonna tell you exactly how I did it basically. But for you guys who do not know who Typhon is, uh, Typhon is spelled T-Y-P-H-O-N. And uh, Typhon is a uh, of Greek mythology, youngest son of Gaia and Tartarus. Gaia, Earth, Tartarus of the Netherworld. Uh, he was described as a grisly monster with the hunter's dragon's heads who was conquered and cast into the underworld by Zeus. In other accounts, he was confined in the land of uh, Arima, uh, uh, Arimi sorry, in Sicilia or under Mount Etna or in other volcanic regions where he was the cause of eruptions. Typhon was thus personif the personification of volcanic forces. Um, I have an incense. When I was working with like. I kind of just asked really quick what he wanted. Uh, he told me patchouli. So an incense that you can use is patchouli. Or if you don't have patchouli or if you want to use something else, I would say anything that is attributed to fire uh, or masculine incense. Um, or I would even like an air. I think I got uh, frankincense and myrrh as well. So you can use those or whatever you're drawn to, uh, I would say. Um, but he is uh, strong and powerful and definitely fire uh so when i worked with him when i did this right i asked him for uh spiritual and physical strength as well as uh stamina for spiritual uh and then like uh raw power so to help me with that aspect so um i think he's really he'd be really good for these things as you do research i'm sure you could come up with other other uh, other reasons to work with uh, Typhon, but he's a uh, the god of monsters, basically. So he is super powerful, man. Honestly, when I did this right, it was it was really invigorating. It was powerful, so uh, that's why I'm sharing it now. So the sigil I got is this one here, as you can see, and then I have the mantra underneath it. And copy that sigil. Boom. And the mantra is Typhon Margonis Yislim. Ariet, or Ariet, if you cannot roll your R's. Uh, what I, how I performed this right was, just got this right here. I used a diabetic lancet with this thing. You know, just you just if you don't know how to use these, you basically take them out. I'm not gonna do it because you know you you should clean everything before you're using it. Since I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna show you exactly how to do it. But you put this in here, take this little top off, pull it back, hit the button, and it like a little spring action happens there. And you put it on your finger and you draw a little bit of blood. You smear it over the sigil. Or if you don't want to do that, maybe you can use a fire element oil or something like that. Um, if you want uh, essential oil or whatever you're drawn to. Uh, maybe some oil and like maybe some fire uh, herbs attributed to the fire element as well. You know, you can do that or masculine fire, you know. Just, so, um, and then uh, from there, you start saying the mantra, you make your request. Uh, I would write it on the paper. I actually wrote it on the paper. Uh, I have it, I had it here next to it, but uh, I kind of fucked up when I was writing Typhon and I wanted it to look cool. I guess it didn't matter, I'm telling you now, but <laughs> uh, yeah, so I wrote it on there and uh. I read it as I was doing it, and then whenever I was, I did that. I placed the uh, sigil, I placed the incense on top of the sigil, so it's basically like this, like that on on the table. And you don't really need an altar for this; just anywhere will do. I lit the incense after I put the blood on there, you know, and then um, I started saying the mantra, so I started feeling the energy. And then from there, I went and sat down and actually grabbed my mala beads and said the mantra. Uh, I was directed to do this, do this. So I grabbed my mala and I started saying the mantra while the energy was flowing through me uh, with each bead. So there is a way to use the, uh, the mala um, that I use. Uh, so you're basically charging it with this. So you, if you call forth that energy, you can charge it at the same time, which is, which is pretty cool. So uh, I did that, 
And um, I was thinking like, di for different entities, if you want to charge Mala, whatever, you can use like a number that's attributed to them, like a sacred number. And there's all different kinds of ways to do that. Let's say if the number was nine, you would do it the Mala nine times, nine days in a row kind of a thing. Uh, that's the way I would do something. However, with this one, um, I didn't really know what number to attribute to Typhon at the time. So uh, I was kind of just going to go until I uh, didn't feel that I should do it anymore. However, after one time, like it's there's a way to switch the Mala when you get to the end. Which, that's very simple, actually. Not very complicated at all. And uh, I actually dropped it. It got kind of hung up in a weird way, which I haven't done. So I took it as that was the just one was enough. Uh, I'm guessing because the energy was flowing. But, um, yeah, so I just did the mantra, Typhon Margones Yeslim Ariet. Typhon Margones Yeslim Ariet. Typhon Margones Yeslim Ariet. Went all the way through the whole mala. And I did every bead. So there is 100, 108 of the Bodhi uh, tree beads right here. Um, and then I did the, the turquoise bead as well. I have some a couple of bone here. And they each represent, like, death. Uh, the blue world is this one right here. Uh, and then I have it on a uh, sinew. The string is a sinew uh, string. So, and then I did it through every single one. That's what I was felt that I felt that I needed to do. And then after that, I let it to the side, just kind of sat in meditation, let the energy flow, and it stopped not long after that, maybe like five minutes after that. And then from there, I just let the incense burn. And before the incense burn, however, I was kind of felt drawn to. I have this bowl here. And then I lit the the sigil with the with the blood. It had already dried by this time because I was doing all this. The incense doesn't burn fast. And maybe it was about down to like maybe about here, you know. So it was almost done, but not quite. So it was dry by then. So I went ahead and like burned that and let it burn up and to you know go off and to let the energy let the energy free. So there's an idea for um, quick. Rituals, powerful rituals. Uh, I, like I said, I felt the energy really, really strongly. So um, there you go. If you uh, do this ritual, comment down below. See how you feel. Tell, let me know what you think. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, share it with your friends. If you hate it, share it with your enemies. Later.